Hear ye, hear ye! Woohoo! Hello! Okay, clown heads, check this out! As you all know, this Saturday night is the hoo-hoo, really big social event of the season. That's right, the Whistling Pines Valentine's Dance. Time to wear your love like heaven. Yeehaw! In other words, time to pick this year's mm, king and queen of hearts. So who's it gonna be, huh, folks? Remember, ballot boxes will be located in several places throughout our beloved Escuela. So get down with it and vote for your faves. And remember, only two of your little buddies are gonna get crowned. <laughs> so make sure you pick up some real winners, huh? Imagine, it could be you sitting on that throne, yeah! Wow, how cool would it be to get chosen Queen of Hearts? <laughs> wow, what a riot. That would be weird to win Queen of Hearts. Wow, Queen of Hearts. I'd like to beat out Nicole. But with my luck, everything would go totally wrong. <laughs> And this year's Queen of Hearts is Rocket Movado. Thank you. This is my dream come true. And I want to thank all. You nincompoops, I am the queen. Don't fret, dear. You've been voted head manicurist. Isn't that just wonderful? No way! I am not some loser nail filer! And now, to announce the King of Hearts. Wait a minute! This isn't the Middle Ages! Rocket the self-empowered woman! She should pick her own king! Hey, Miko! You're right! Totally! Go on, Rocket! Pick someone! All right. This is going to be very interesting. Choose the king! 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 Hey! New girl! Snap out of it! Uh-oh. I think one of Zitbomb's aliens abducted Chica's brain. Ooh. Ugh, I can't believe how immature Ruben acts sometimes. <laughs> Caught in the middle of Fantasyland by Ruben. This is so funny. How embarrassing. I'd croak if he knew what I was thinking about. Oh, uh... <laughs> what you got going on in there? The next blockbuster movie or what? Um, I bet you were imagining yourself up on stage and dancing with the man of your dreams, whoever that is. I, I was not. I wasn't even thinking about that dumb dance. Uh-huh. Hey, Nick, I think old Rocket here was dreaming her life away on some guy, and now she's all flustered because I caught her at it. Come on, Rocket. Who were you thinking about? You can tell us. You wish, Nicole. Mr. Baldus, Mr. Baldus, can I say something? Okay. Everyone knows that Ruben's band is tied with Arrow and the Explorers in the Battle of the Bands, and that he's going to announce his new band name at the dance. When they win, of course. 
But what you don't know is that Rocket and I are in kind of a friendly little competition for Queen, aren't we, Rocket? So please be sure to put your vote, for your most favorite person, of course, into one of the ballot boxes around school. I'm counting on everyone to come through on this. Man, this Valentine's thing is making everyone crazy, and I'm so into it. I can't believe everyone's making such a big deal over a dumb Valentine's dance. Especially me! I've just gotta chill out! Hi there, lovely maiden. Uh, how's it going? Ooh, it's the glum girl. What's the deal? I'm sure it wouldn't interest you, Sharla. Uh, come on, Rocket, what's the matter? Can't decide what to wear to the bunny hop this weekend with your little friends? <sighs> Well, actually, like you care, but it is about this whole dance thing. Yeah, and no, I can't decide what to wear, as a matter of fact. Plus, everyone's going crazy about winning Queen or whatever, and I'm sure I won't. And then there's all these decorations I've got to finish. Rocket, the... you surprise me. You really do. What? <sighs> Rocket, this dance is lame in a major way. I can't believe it even matters to you. I mean, I thought you, of all people, would realize that it's just a big, stupid popularity contest and not even care about it. Actually, she's right. Big deal. I don't see why Charlotte's so bent out of shape by this whole thing. Actually, she's right. It is a pop. Actually, she's right. It is a popularity contest. And yeah, actually, it does bother me. Oh, wow. You know, Charlotte, you're right. It is sort of a popularity contest, huh? And to tell you the truth, it makes me kind of uptight. See? It's like you have to be a certain way to get accepted. That's sick. Yeah, and plus, there's the most popular kids and then everybody else. I hate that. Yeah, well, I think you're just safer if you back off and act like you don't even care what the popular kids think. They're dorks anyway. Yeah, well, some are okay. Except when they act snobbish and like a person's not cool enough for them or whatever. That I don't like. What? Don't you like, Rocket? Oh, um, hi, Nicole. What's up? Speaking of the zeros... Oh, sorry. I mean the ones. Excuse me, Sharla. Rocket, I thought you'd sit with me. I mean, so we could talk about Saturday night and everything. The rival queens, you know? <laughs> Rocket, you're not still going to go to that stupid dance, are you? Oh, uh, well... Sharla, why don't you just get on your little rebel mobile or whatever it is that you drive around in and go away? Better watch your back, Rocket. No lie. Ugh, who are you now, Sharla? Mavis Depew? Anyway, I'm so glad we're getting closer, Rocket, aren't you? We are. Here, here. <laughs> I'm at my wit's end with all the senseless chatter in this classroom. Nicole, back to your seat or you will be enjoying detention this very afternoon, young lady. <laughs> nice going. Oh, not the oh, shame, shame. Uh, darn it, too bad. How am I ever going to be friends with Nicole if Mrs. Tiny Doll's always ruining everything? Oh, thank goodness. I need to step back from this chummy Nicole thing for a minute. Mrs. Tiny Doll can do whatever she wants, but it won't stop me from making the Nicole connection now. <laughs> Rocket, I can't believe the chicken wings sent me back to my seat. Squawk! Anyway, I just have to tell someone this before I totally burst. I have a huge crush on- oh, Whoa, I cannot believe this. Rocket, now what? I've about had enough of your lack of attention in my classroom. What have you got there? Um, it's uh, just my essay, and it's really bad. I'm gonna throw it away and start over, Mrs. Tiny Doll. Don't worry. I am worried, Miss Movado, because I believe it's not your essay, but in fact a note. Therefore, I think we'd all very much like to hear what you've written. Now, do you want to read to the class, or shall I? Uh, mm, Rocket? Um. Well, come on now. Make up your mind. Okay, but it's totally stupid, and I didn't mean any of it. So don't... Hand over that scrap bling or read. Okay, um, it says I just I have to tell someone this before I totally burst. I feel like I have a huge crush on WD, and I don't know what to do. It's 
terrible. Wolf shoot. No. No. Oh class, class. Hush now, hush. Oh yes, saved. Excellent, Rocket. That dumb move is one I'm totally in favor of. Hear ye, hear ye. The mighty pine has arrived. And I come bearing Valentine mush from every nasty corner of big old WPJH. If you find your name in this slush pile, be afraid. Be very afraid. Oh, yeah. And while you're all drooling, one more thing. I got strict orders by Herrera Central to bail Rocky Movado out of here. Move it, girl. Come on, let's go. Uh, wait, wait a second. Uh, what are you talking about, Pine Man? How embarrassing. I can't believe this. Ha <laughs> ha, this is great. Excused from class. Oh no, what did I do wrong? I hope this doesn't really mean a trip to the office. Is that your boyfriend? Oh, come on, give him a kiss. <laughs> Who's that, Rocket? <laughs> oh, come on, please. I didn't do anything wrong, I swear. Hey, chill out. Mrs. H just wants to make sure that you know that all those paper butterflies have arrived. You're supposed to go down to the gym and show everyone how to hang them. But on your way there, I need you to check out something in the art room. Hold it there, Woody. You're out of line. Buzz off, greaser boy. <laughs> hey, you little cheese curds. What do you think you're doing out of class? As hall monitor, I'm the one with the authority here. Hey. Look in my locker to discover a way to hear what people are secretly thinking. <laughs> okay, here we go. Man, I could not believe my eyes when I caught Bo looking at a certain girl with moon pie eyes. And I don't think the girl was looking back.
Man, I could not believe
When you're walking the halls of this school without authorization, you better be cool. Cause I'll be on your case before I can say boo. In other words... When you're walking the halls of this school without authorization, you better be cool. Cause I'll be on your case before you can say boo. In other words, I'm the hall monitor and you're not.
Cross my heart and hope to spy. I heard that little dude from the so-called popular crowd talking some real crank with one of his buddies. Not that I care, but I should get Bo to mow him over. <laughs>
A monster! Don't tell anyone I said that, even though I mean it pretty much in a nice way. I mean, he just acts so tough all the time and everyone is so scared of him. But for some reason, he never does that to me. are thinking about. <laughs> Let's go. These little hand balls really get me ticked, and I'd like to see that stupid pine in a boiling pot. Who is this loser pine tree anyway? One of these days I'm gonna make it my business to find out. Wait a second. I can't get hung up here. I gotta stop a certain little caper. Wait a second. I can't get hung up here. I gotta stop a certain little caper. And I'm giving the tree a citation. I'll give you a citation for being a day old pig's liver. Both of you. Now get to Herrera's office. I'm watching you go. Hey, easy man, easy. Whoa, that was weird, and I can't believe I didn't get busted. But I wonder what's going on in the art room. Hmm. 
No way. Max is stuffing the ballot box? Max stuffing extra votes into the king and queen voting box? And for himself, I'm sure. I'm gonna tell him exactly what I think. Max Diamond, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Rocket, really, it's, it's not what it looks like. Well, it looks like you're stuffing the ballot box. Okay, so maybe it is what it looks like. But hey, it's for a good cause. Like your friend Jesse could end up as... Hooray! It's truth glasses time. <laughs> Arnetta, I got your note, and yes, I think it would be very cool to take a picture of everyone as they enter the gym. Even though, I don't think either you or I want to hang there all night, right? Okay, so let's talk more about it later. See ya, Rocket. Rocket, Wolf here. My family is having a brunch on Sunday afternoon for some friends, and I thought maybe you'd like to come. It'll be popping, and everybody can talk about the happenings at the dance. Get back to me, okay? Hello, Rocket. It's Nicole. Anyway, here's my question. Are you bringing your camera to the dance? I hope so, because even though I'm going to take pictures of myself, I want to make sure someone else can get some of me. I really need some pictures to remember the night by, especially since I have reason to believe it will be really special for me and Cleve. Bye! New girl. Hey, hey, Rosales talking to you. Any chance your dance committee would like to help my band set up? Let me know. Bye. Oh, and uh, one other thing. There's no pay, of course. But lots of fun, for sure. Promise. Rocket, greetings from Mavis! I just wanted to tell you that even if I don't go to the dance, which I'm definitely not, I'm voting for you and Ruben, because I know you two are going to win anyway. Rocket for Queen! Bye!
Today, Chaz was talking with Darnetta in the hall, all cozy-like, and when I walked up, he got really nervous and said he had to go. Whatever. To vacation when I went to California with Jesse and her dad, we had the best time singing and doing duos and all of that. That's when we got our idea. Everybody's gonna find out something about that too. Just you wait and see. Rocket Movado has always been the kind to stick her little nose into other people's business. Maybe some people think it's cute, but I'm afraid this time she's treading in the wrong territory. Why did I have to see this? Oh, this is just fine and dandy. I've got to play it cool here. Jessie? She'd never want to win by cheating. Anyway, I'm sure you're voting for yourself, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, what can I say? Let's keep this between you and me, huh, Rocket? Max, this is really wrong, and you know it. Stop doing it! I'll see you later. Hey, Rocket. Where are you going in such a hurry? Oh, uh, hi, Whitney. Hi, Steph. I was just going to the gym, actually. But I kind of have to stop by the principal's office on the way. Why? I wouldn't go there for all the makeup in the mall. Oh, uh, long story. Never mind. Hey, why don't you come to my house with us? We're going to try on clothes. Well, gee, thanks, Whitney. I'd like to, but there's really a bunch of things I have to do right now. 
Well, you're gonna miss a really good time, Rocket. We're figuring out our dance clothes and every accessory. Oh, too bad. I need help deciding, too. But anyway, maybe you can see my choices before Saturday. Yeah, and maybe you can even come with us that night. To the dance, I mean. It's gonna be great. Totally. Well, we'll see you later, okay, Rocket? Okay, cool. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Think I need to make an impression at this dance by going with the ones. My first Whistling Pines dance. I think Jesse and I could both use some company, each other. Valentine's dance, get ready, cause here I come, on my own and totally confident. My Oh my gosh, Jesse! I'm so excited. Do I look I know, all right? Me too. Yes, you look I great. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, Rocket, it looks amazing in here. Wow, you did such a great job. I love all the giant flowers and those hidden hearts everywhere. Speaking of which, I really think you're gonna win Queen of Hearts. <laughs> no way. Uh, but come on, Jess. What's your big secret? Tell me. Yay! Another chance to get the truth glasses. Come on. There's only one problem I have with going to the Valentine's Day dance. I don't really know how to dance, but hopefully I'll have more time playing drums than dancing. You're totally brilliant! Let's go listen in. That mess with Max was a little strange last week, but Jesse hasn't even said anything about it, so she probably doesn't even know he was doing it. I wonder if I should tell her, just forget about it. Sometimes I can't believe how talented Rocket is in art. I just hope my talents come out okay tonight. I can't, Rocket, but you won't believe it. Oh my gosh, look at Mr. Baldus. Okay, kiddies and classmates, lend me your lobes. Coming up real soon, I'll bless your ears with the name of the winning group in the big battle of the bands. Will it be Arrow and the Explorers? Or one of my own Rico Suave students, who, by the way, has renamed his Garubi group. Are you ready, Hepcats? Okay, be on the lookout for a little Rosales groove motion under the new heading of Ta-da! Rebel Angels! <laughs> You got that right, for once. So are you ready? ready? Okay then, get ready for Rebel Angels! Right after my cool friends here, Arrow and the Explorers, do some real damage. See you soon, fans! Ma, but you girls are looking extra good tonight. Too good for any of the fools around this place anyway. And Rocket, I hear you're up to date on that diamond scheme. Any news on that score? Uh, Chaz, shh! I don't know anything about that. What are you guys talking about? Something about Max? There is no way I'm telling Jesse about that. Or what I did about it. It's my- Okay. There is no way I'm telling Jesse about that. Or what I did about it. It's my little secret. 
Okay, I think it's time Jessie found out what Max is really up to. Jessie would be so upset if she knew the truth, so I've got to think fast here. Okay. Jessie, yes, I hate to tell you this, but Max did something really obnoxious. Hey now, Rocky, chill a little, okay? I saw Max actually putting some fat load of votes into the King and Queen ballot box. The worst part is, I think he was voting for himself. And you. Max would never do that, but he would look kind of cute as king. So yeah, Jess, what if that happens? How would you... My locker awaits. <laughs> Okay, amigos, are you ready? Wait till you see the big surprise the explorers are coming out with tonight. I can't give it away by telling any clues, but it's really gonna surprise you, and it's gonna be totally cool. Max the man, yeah right. Listen, don't tell anybody, but I did something really lame, and I'm kinda sorry about it. Especially since it didn't exactly turn out the way I expected. All I can say is, when a guy's heart gets on the line, sometimes he does some really stupid things.
Okay, amigos, are you ready? Wait till you see the big surprise. Your sixth sense must be as good as mine. I wonder if it's Max who's been sending me all those anonymous notes about tonight. I think the worst thing about Max's prank is that what happens in the end probably has to do with how I acted about it. My buddy boy had good intentions, but I think he really messed up this time. Queen with that New York City boy as king, huh? <laughs> Chaz, wake up. Jesse wouldn't spend a minute wanting to be with Max the man. Like she'd even waste her time. And don't be so sure, Ms. I Spy Mavado. Hey, I see Steph over there. So, later. Hey there. What's the score, girls? What's going on? Ready for the big announcement? You act like you've got a lot of big hopes, Max the Man. Hi, Max. Good luck. Hey, that's one thing I got plenty of. Hopes and luck go a long way, you know. Oh, all right. All right. All right. Students, your attention, please. Before Mr. Baldus reveals this year's king and queen, I have an important announcement to make. Oh, God, here it comes. Hot air from the top. If I ever learn that there is any truth to this rumor of altering the voting process, the culprit will have to answer to me. We should all be aware that the winning of King and Queen is just for fun and not to be taken seriously. Now, let us go on with our little pageant and hope no one has actually taken it so seriously that they've had to cheat their way into a crowd. Mr. Baldus, dear, you may proceed. Okie dokie, Mrs. H. <laughs> My gal pal. Envelope, please. Yeah! Yes, yes, yes! An extraordinary win this year! Our king, Mr. Max Diamond! Okay, I got a great feeling about this. Uh-huh, I'm sure you do. And our illustrious 8th grade queen o heart, Miss Mavis Mortella DePew. Go on, girl, you go, you go. Come on up here with your bad self. Let me see your faces, almighty king and queen. Oh, give me a break. He's losing it. I'll see you later. Hey, hey, hey. There seems to be a missing king here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, peoples. I always hated Valentine's Day, and this is my first chance to like it. I mean, ever. Maybe it's a joke to you for me to be voted Queen of Hearts, like you thought it was a funny thing to do. But to me, it's a thing that could never happen in all my lifetimes. And I'm really happy you all did this for me. So I thank you forever. Thank you, peoples. Good, 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 good. Now, little lady. Step on over here, yeah, and get ready to dance your booties off. Cause hear ye, hear ye, the big band of the night is now ready to rock you. The battle has been waged, and the winner is... I hope you vote for us. Remember, Arrow and the Explorers. Arrow and the Explorers! We did it! We won! I can't believe it! Oh, man! Thank you, everybody! And Ruben Grasso!
Let's get the truth glasses so you can hear more thoughts. Come on. If you ask me, I'd say let Jesse or Darnetta be a permanent stand-in for yours truly. I wasn't born to rock the world. Okay, so Arrow and the Explorers made the top grade. I'm cool with that. Serious. They deserve a bit of fame and acclaim. But we already got some to go on, so I'm all for Las Chicas Fantásticas. I gotta admit, as a girls band, they rule.
tonight was so cool. I had such a good time and I felt so happy the whole night. Maybe it's weird, I know, but sometimes I just can't believe how much I love Whistling Pines. Okay, so our Truth glasses! Come on, let's go listen in. Ugh, I feel so uptight I practically can't even move. Where did these two get their total cool? Because it's definitely not me. I knew it, this is too cool and I'm so psyched. If only Ginger would get more excited, this would be a really good thing. This is so cool. This is unbelievable. I've got to give Ruben an extra hug for being so cool all this time and helping us. I'm sure it's because of him that we're up here. Gracias. This is so great. Yes, woo! Whispers, my dear, and the wolf speaks to my fears, and the eagle swoops from above, and the mountains sing of their love, and the fox whispers, my dear, and the wolf speaks. And sing of their love And the fox whispers, my dear And the wolf speaks to my fears And the eagle swoops from above And the mountains sing of their love And the mountains sing of their love So, as a way of thanking everybody, we've got an amazing surprise as part of the Explorer's debut. We'd like to call on stage our amazingly talented friend, Miss Darnetta James! Stood at the foot of a great wisdom tree And the 
voice in my head whispered I can depend on oh. me surprise I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> oh, that's coming. I'm actually gonna sing. Wow, really? That is so cool. Yeah, pretty amazing. I can't believe I'm doing it. I guess we're all breaking out, huh? I'm sorry you didn't win Queen, though, Rocket. Thanks, Jess. You know what? It's all right. Are you sure? Yeah. I was just standing here thinking how I've met lots of new people this year, and sometimes it has not been easy. But Queen or not, Whistling Pines is my school, and I really like it. Hola, chicas. Jess, you ready to rock and roll? Absolutely. And hey, new girl. I guess you're like truly one of us now. I mean, surviving this gig. We don't all have to say something schmaltzy, do we? <laughs> you know, Jesse, the Diamond Head's gonna go gaga watching you sing. Yeah, but I'm starting to get nervous. Ah, uh, come on. Don't sweat it. I'll walk you back there. See you guys later. Bye. Speaking of walking, want to take a cruise around here? Maybe dance or whatever? Sure, okay. Let's do it. Yes. Oh, yes. This has been the best night. I think I'm going to remember this great feeling for a long time. Depend on 